I've told you that is not a toy. What is it? That's my new trophy. It was Amaru's most treasured possession. He wore it on a string around his neck, close to his heart. But you found a way to steal it. I had to. Do you know what it is? It's a cipher wheel. A coded message. Yes. And if Amaru goes to the trouble of putting a message in code, we have to know what that message is. Let me try. Maybe the code leads to the place of the flooded underworld. In the Mayan Cross, water comes from the south, and south is associated with the color yellow. Road, mountain, sky, east. That seems promising. Lining up the symbols has given me a possible location. Do these mean anything to you? Mountain road, sky road, east mountain? Yes. Amaru and his family lived near the base of the eastern mountain while he was growing up. So he would know the area very well, making it the perfect place for him to hide something important. I'll let you know what I find. I'm looking forward to it. Excuse me. Yes? I was wondering, have you lived around here for long? All my life, which makes for a very, very long time. <laughs> Then you must have known Amaru, when he was younger. Did I know Amaru? <laughs> yes, I certainly did. And that brother of his, too. Amaru was the older one, the quieter, more studious. Both boys had a passion for the unknown, for discovering the world around them. 
But where Sairi was the explorer, the adventurer, Amaru was the scholar. Together, they were a magnificent team, each one pushing the other to great heights. So they were close. <laughs> Inseparable. All brothers fight from time to time. But these two, they'd settle their disagreements in a matter of minutes, and their bond would be even stronger for it. And as for anyone else? <laughs> Nobody was allowed to get close. It was a game to them, keeping secrets only they knew. They had a secret hideaway, a private code, everything. A hideaway? Yes. They got there by climbing. Sorry, it's been ages. Um, what did they call it? The Sky Road? That's it. That's it. The road to the sky. <laughs> I'd like to follow that road. Do you have any guesses as to where it might be? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but you're at the base of a mountain. Better start climbing. <laughs> Jalele Kuchil Tsone Mashanu Kabetalti Le Piskinov Kutalovo. Soon left me to Bakobo. In much back. Jalele Kuchil Tsone Mashanu Kabetalti Lepiskinov. Do not 
Tuka, Kunshanta la Tukultikesh, Kimpatanol Kanani Hueye, Taglekenu Het Samaru Tsoku Pistale. Hatha Fasting Huya, Yola Lamaru, Pawokel Yola Le Wal Wal Suk Umansike, Yanmasho Holtek, Lekatu Yilaje, Hop U, Mistupa. Bule chichi. No wonder Amaru had it so well guarded. This is Sairi's tomb. There's an inscription in Latin. I will never hesitate again. I wonder what that means. <sighs> There's also a key. All right, let's try red in the north. Dancing tree, water, nine. It also means many. Hmm. Dancing water near many trees. I think I know what fits that description.
this will lead. I should use the sluice gate. Those two beams should be connected together. Let's see if I can reach the top now. I'm sure I can turn the water level to my advantage.
Let's see if I can raise the water level. Let's see if I can raise the water level. I'm sure I can turn the water level to my advantage. I have to turn those beams, but I can't from here. Water level is the key. Time to connect everything. Loose gates. Now to close all the sluice gates. Now 
to close all the sluice gates. Food from Trinity. How did they find this cave? The key fits this chest. Maybe the answers are inside. Sairi, here is some food to begin distributing to our people. I wish I'd managed to obtain it sooner, before you went hunting, especially since, as your older brother, the responsibility was mine, not yours. But you have always been as stubborn as the rest of our family. It comes from Trinity, that secret group of outsiders I was telling you about. They have promised me more, but first there is something I have to do for them. You can find me at the old village beyond the gate that was put up to protect people from the red fungus. Amaru. Whatever the secret of this cipher wheel is, I don't think it has to do with the current conflict. I think it's older and much more personal. With luck, I'll find the explanation in the old village.
This must be the red fungus Amaru mentioned in his letter. It's obviously deadly. Trinity must have put these there. They should still be watching. gate wasn't just for protection, it was to hide this tomb, and Amaru knew it was here. <laughs> the spores are too deadly to cross, but I can't pry my way through that barrier. Too close. I'll get caught in the blast. <laughs> I could use the sledge to line up the cart with the cannon. If I move the cart into the other lane, it'll line up with the cannon. can use the crank to move the cart. Mm. 
I need to be on the lift with the crate when the cart reaches the cannon. So many bodies. I have to avoid those spores. construction is a test for the leadership of Trinity. If Amaru had fully committed to Trinity sooner, they would have given him the food then, before Sairi went hunting and got killed. I will never hesitate again. Amaru was making a promise to his dead brother, in a language no other Pytetian could read. There is one person who can confirm all of this for me. Ah, it's you again. Did you find what you're looking for? I think so. More than I was expecting. You look troubled. What's on your mind? Did you ever see Amaru back here after... after the famine? You mean after his brother died? I told you they were inseparable. When Sairi died, a part of Amaru died along with him. Not long after it happened, he came back here once, and then never again. He devoted himself entirely to the cult of Kukulkan. I guess his brother's death changed his priorities forever. Thank you. You've been more helpful than I can say. Korianka was right. This wheel is important to Amaru. 
It might be the most precious thing he owns. We have no reason and no right to keep it from him. Give this to him. Amaru! What did that insolent priest want? What? How? Give me that! Cabello que limpa el Winnick y Chill, una tobe. Cacho Belil, la típica negra. You're back. What have you learned? Too much, I think. What happened? I returned the cipher wheel to Amaru. Its messages have no value to the rebellion. The wheel is personal, a keepsake that represents Amaru's love for his brother Sairi. The codes point to various dead drops the brothers had, hidden throughout the city. One of them contained food which he had gotten from Trinity to help during the famine. But Sairi never received the message, because by then he'd already died. Amaru wasn't always the man he is now. Whatever his faults, he still believes in doing what's best for Paititi. I know. 
He's always held the city and the people in it close to his heart. Along with his regrets, 